closely and you'll find it. Amid the clutter, among the archives. It's tucked away here in this room on the third floor of the country club. It is a story one century in the making. It is the story of American golf. America is actually based upon the idea that anybody can succeed, and Francis Wiemet was the golfing embodiment of just that. No one had ever beaten two Goliaths before. If the 300 Spartans had actually succeeded in beating, you know, the invading Persians, that might have been an upset on this level. To put it in context, Varden and Ray were Tiger Woods and Jack Nicklaus. They changed the date of the Open so that Harry Varden would stay in this country and play in it. That doesn't happen much. I mean, here's this 20-year-old amateur that grew up caddying at the country club, grew up just across the street on Clyde Street, across from the 17th hole. I've stood up in what was Francis's bedroom window. There's the 17th hole right there in front of him. He dreamt of playing on that golf course his whole life. This place was his field of dreams. Because the story is so improbable to begin with, the pivotal hole in both the final round and the playoff would have to be the hole that he grew up looking out his window at, the 17th. In the final round, he trailed Varden and Ray by one stroke, coming into 17. He was the last American standing. On 17, the same hole that he looked out his window at every morning, on this green that he has putted on hundreds and hundreds of times, he gets the birdie to get into the playoff, and he gets the birdie in the playoff to really clinch it. He like Babe Ruth growing up across the street from the right field of Yankee Stadium. It was the most important hole he ever played in his life. One century since that September day, the memory of We Met lives on. Not just in those dusty attic archives, and far from the fairways on which he grew up. Beyond anything he could have possibly seen from his bedroom window. He was Christopher Columbus. He planted the flag. Every player who came after him was in some ways, they were the sons of Francis. 